My tattoos really push me forward. They help individualize myself. There's so many that I like. I would say my hands down favorite one is the scar I have over my eye. I think I spent almost six or 7,000 getting all my teeth done up. A lot of people are surprised when I say I have trouble dating. A lot of people can't handle their partner constantly having people gawk at them, throw themselves at them. Hello, how are you? Hey. I'm a hugger. <laughs> I've never met someone completely inked up. Are the teeth permanent or can you take them out? Yes, they're permanent. They're permanent? Yeah. Damn. My name is Croissant. I am a full-time uh, musician. Today, I'm going on my first blind date. I got my first tattoo, I think, six-ish years ago. Once I got my first one, I got addicted immediately. My tattoos really push me forward. They help individualize myself. I wear clothes to show off my tattoos all the time because I love them, they look cool. I typically don't have to wear much because my face and neck draw attention. I think I spent almost six or 7,000 getting all my teeth done up. A lot of people are surprised when I say I have trouble dating. Most people say, but you've got so many girls in your music videos. You've got so many girls throwing themselves at you on your Instagram. And a lot of people can't handle their partner constantly having people gawk at them, throw themselves at them. All right, I'm ready for my blind date. Let's go. Hi, my name is Sue Haley. I am 27 years old and I freelance bartend and I'm also a freelance photographer. I think I tend to go for more baby faces. I'm just hoping to get to know someone and if it progresses, great. If it doesn't, also great. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous right now. I've been on a date in years, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm not sure she knows what to expect either. Hello, how are hey. you? I'm a hugger. <laughs> I'm a hugger. My gosh, you're so gorgeous. I gotta take it in. <laughs> Appreciate you. I go by a croissant. Croissant? Mm -hmm. Okay, where'd you get that from? That's my musician name. I like croissants. And one of my friends one time said that if you keep eating them, you'll eventually turn into one. And he said, I don't even know how to spell croissant. And that's literally where it came from. I just got it and then spelled it a lot easier. <laughs> okay, wait. How do you spell it? Literally how it sounds, just C-R-E-W-S-O-N-T. <laughs> My main interest I, is honestly, it's just music. Do it full time and that's literally all, all I'm focused on is just music, music, music. I was really trying to figure out something that would kind of set me apart. And I noticed the one thing that I notice about any musician, DJ, artist, anything, is their tattoos are really what helps individualize themselves. And that's initially what started my journey and I kind of went overboard with it. What kind of women do you think you attract? I think I typically attract mostly the not so good women. And what, wait, what's, like, the, what's like, the not so good women? So most of the time <laughs> that I meet women or see women, they'll either see me off my Instagram or they'll see me at a show. The type of music that I have is either really aggressive, really violent, it's a performance nature. So most people see the performer and they see that type of style and that's the type that go to it. So I feel like I attract more so the chaotic, attention seeking type of girls, if that makes sense. No, it makes a lot of sense. As far as like music wise, career and the amount of money it helps me make. Oh, it's, it's really good. As far as like meeting people, living a daily life, regular stuff, normal activities it kind of sucks for it. The reactions I get with tattoos are, best way to put it is zero to 100. I could have people that completely ignore them, and then I have some people that'll look at me mean, scoff. Some people will hold their purses tight, and, you know, do the stereotypical, you know, look away, walk away. I know you're career focused, but when you go on dates, do people constantly comment on your appearance and everything? Going on a date in the city, nine times out of 10, if we're at a restaurant, anywhere like that, we're gonna be approached. Someone's gonna talk to me, say, hey, I know you. Oh, you're the guy on Instagram. I've never met someone completely inked up the way you are. Eight out of 10, nine out of 10 times, people judge others on their appearances. And 
I've been guilty about that. We all do it. Yeah, but if I would have seen you walking down the side of the road, I would have been like, well, probably a punk. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And But talking to you, you're super down to earth and super gentle and completely different perceptions that I had walking in versus talking to you. It's like, oh, teaches you a lot to not judge and you know, get to know someone first. So I try yeah. to give people always the benefit of the <laughs> doubt, but. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> so what's your favorite tattoo on you? I think my favorite one that I have would probably be the scar over my eye. Oh gosh, did that hurt? It was awful, I was gonna say, it goes all the way on the tips of my eyelid. And that was probably the most painful, but probably the coolest one in my opinion. Dang. All right, if you excuse me, I'm gonna need to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. I'll be here. So far, I feel like it's going pretty good. Um, we've had a pretty good conversation so far. She seems really cool. There was definitely an attraction there. She almost stunned me as soon as she walked in. So yeah, that's definitely up there. I am trying to vision him without all the tattoos because I'm not that big of a fan of tattoos in the face. So me trying to vision him without it potentially could have, you know, fit into my baby face realm. How do your parents feel as well? My parents actually don't really talk to me anymore <laughs> because of the tattoos. Really? Yeah, my mom is really, really against them. She has none of them. W within five years, I got went from my first one here to all this. Okay. And she was really against it being visible. The neck was probably the worst one. She, she told me not to get any more, none on my face, and then when I started doing my head and face and then got my gold teeth, she just, she lost her mind and stopped talking to me. Are the teeth um, permanent or can you take them out? Yes, they're permanent. They're permanent? Yeah. Damn. Well, this was lovely and lovely getting to know you. Definitely keep in contact with me and you're a blast to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. How did the date go? I thought it went well. I thought it went well too. Yeah. A lot more intellectually challenging questions is <laughs> definitely something I'm not used to, you know what I mean? I love listening and he can carry a great conversation, so it went well. Learning about him more, I think I had a different opinion about him before I walked in, and learning that he's really down to earth was a highlight for me. Will you see Sue Haley again? I mean, if she's up for it, I'm down. I see us like crossing paths at some point again because of the, the traveling aspect, so whenever we're in each other's cities, I'm totally down to get coffee or get food or do whatever, so yeah. For the most part, I, I think it went really well. There wasn't really a dull moment in it. It ended up being way more fruitful, um, way more mentally relaxing than going out or doing some activity with some of the other girls I've been with.